Hi there, and welcome back to The Future of Documents. I'm Holt Skinner, and I'm a developer advocate for Google Cloud. Previously, we've looked at lots of ways to process documents, including general forms, IDs, receipts, and even completely custom formats using Document AI. However, no machine learning model is perfect, and when you need the highest accuracy for your applications, it can be best to have people verify the results before you use them. This is where Human in the Loop, or HITL, comes in. For Document AI, HITL allows you to send documents to a dedicated human review team. You can use Google, partners, or your own workforce to manage this. You can send unprocessed documents to specialists who can label or de-identify your documents. Or you can send already processed documents to verify the results and make corrections if needed. Before we get started, let's think about why this would be needed in the first place. On a broad scale, human in the loop is needed everywhere that AI is applied in production. Every machine learning model is created through the use of data. For supervised learning, like what is used by Document AI, this means that we need label data that tells the model what to look for. Human review can be used to label example data the way they'd want the model to output. Additionally, humans can be used for production review. After the model has been trained and starts to make predictions, humans can be used as an escalation path or review step to verify that the results are accurate. For example, a self-driving car might require a human driver to take over when road conditions are poor, or an automated contact center sends calls to a human agent when the caller has a unique request. And in the case of document processing, this means we have humans verify that the processors are extracting the right information from input documents and manually adjusting the results if they're not correct. So how does human review fit into a full workflow? Human reviewers can be configured in multiple ways. You can have your own in-house or partner resources use Google HITL tools for labeling and review, or you can have a Google managed workforce handle it for you. Next, you can set up human review to be triggered manually or automatically by using the confidence score. The confidence value is output by Document AI to indicate how accurate the model thinks the result is. This is a number between zero and one, with one being the highest confidence that the results are accurate. Keep in mind, this is different from accuracy. The model could output a low confidence score for a correct result or a high confidence score for an incorrect result. You can set a confidence threshold to determine which process documents should be sent to human reviewers. This can be set on the full document or individual entities. Any output with the confidence score below the threshold will be sent for human review. So the higher the threshold, the more documents will be reviewed. You can decide this value based on how critical accuracy is for your application. For more information, be sure to check out the best practices documentation linked in the description. When you configure human review on a processor, you will set a Google Cloud storage bucket for the output files. After the document is reviewed, the verified or corrected data will be saved as a JSON file in the document object format. Any human review operations will be noted in the revisions field of the document object structure. Let's look at an example of a document being processed through human in the loop for production review. Suppose we have an expense parser configured with human review, and this expense report is processed. The document image is really blurry and difficult to read. And this was the output of the expense parser. The results weren't very accurate for some fields, and the model gave low confidence scores of 0.1. A reviewer can open up this document in the labeling console, then verify or correct the output as needed. The red colors indicate that the field was below the set confidence thresholds. And after completing the review, here is the updated output. The mentioned text has been corrected, and the confidence has been changed to 1. Much better. You can also see in the revision history that human review was completed due to low confidence scores. Let's take a look at how human review fits into the full scope of Document AI. This diagram shows all of the key components of the platform. These include document preparation, classification, entity extraction, entity relationships, uptraining, and a repository. Human review works across many of these areas, including document preparation, classification, and entity extraction. Also, the labeled documents can be fed into uptraining as ground truth examples to help the processing models become even more accurate over time. In this diagram, the steps in blue illustrate where human in the loop can be used. In this video, we discussed human in the loop and how it plays a critical role in machine learning workflows. We also talked about how it can be used with document AI through production review of processed documents based on confidence, or labeling documents for training in document AI Workbench. Now, you can try out Human in the Loop for Document AI. 
Check out the guide linked in the description for step-by-step -step instructions on how to review documents using the console. You can also find links to the documentation, which has the most up-to-date information, including supported processors. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.